So here we go guys with episode number 8 of the FIFA 16 Barcelona career mode. We're kicking off today's episode with a training session and guys if you do go on to enjoy today's video make sure you go support it by dropping a like rating. Make sure you drop a comment down below that I can respond to and also click subscribe if you are new around here to the home of FIFA 16 career mode. This is actually going to be the Friday upload and tomorrow we'll be starting our second career mode for FIFA 16. You guys are probably noticing already, I have changed up the training quite a bit. You guys are seeing that Neymar, he has returned to my training sessions. I haven't actually done a training session with Neymar since the start of the season. Neymar did do really an attacking, a goal scoring training session there as we're jumping straight into Sergio Roberto's training session with yet again him doing those short passes to Iniesta and Messi. This is a training session which I am going to use Sergio Roberto. Going to continue using him in that passing drill for a while as we are jumping straight into the Murray Goethe training session with him trying to beat his man and what an episode it was in the previous episode guys if you have missed any episodes of this series go check out the series playlist what an episode it was for Mario Goethe as he did complete the first hat-trick for this crew mode series for FIFA 16 he got a hat-trick in the game against Celta Vigo in a huge 5-2 victory it was actually our first victory in the La Liga and as I did say catch up on any episodes they may have missed as Neymar picks up an A and the only A from this training session Bartra also picks up a B but we're heading into a game against Sevilla and this is a massive massive game for us really Sevilla they are a decent side in the La Liga not saying that they're the best but they're a team that is going to challenge us for the title maybe come the end of the season so we really do have to get the victory here and as I did say Murray Goethe did pick up a hat-trick in the last episode and what a hat-trick it was for Murray Goethe what a way to stamp his authority in the starting 11 in the central attacking midfield uh, role in the starting 11 completing a hat-trick when really Messi hasn't really done much at the moment and Neymar hasn't really done much so hasn't Suarez Lacazette has started well but really it's only been Murray Goetz and Lacazette who's really started well in this season so far as in the fifth minute came the first hole in this game as this actually fell to Sevilla as they whipping across to find a header from their attacker and they were all so close to giving themselves the one nil advantage in this game as we head into the 24th minute Sevilla with the goal kick they looked to bomb it long but Gerard Pique is going to get his head to that one as it's Luis Suarez on the ball he's going to play the Sergio Busquets as he plays it wide to Lionel Messi can Lionel Messi make an impact gets around one defender skips around another one very well there as he was in a very very you can say he was it would have been very difficult to get around that defender if you were playing as another player. He did very well there. He's going to give us the one nil advantage. And that is actually, I want to say, Messi's first goal for this La Liga season. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. As in the 33rd minute, Sevilla had a great chance to level out 1-1. And what a chance it was with that shot. And it's Claudio Bravo who pulls off a fantastic save there. Great save. Diving out on his right as in the 44th minute. It's actually Reyes who's going to whip in the cross for Sevilla. He crosses that one straight to Claudio Bravo. He's going to look to throw it out to Luis Suarez. Suarez is going to play to Neymar. He's going to look to get around this defender. He does do so. It's Neymar who sees Suarez in a better position. He plays it to Luis Suarez and Suarez is going to take the shot. It's a save from the Sevilla goalkeeper and from that Sevilla do clear the ball so what a chance that was to make it 2-0 maybe I should have done a bit better with that chance but we're heading to the second half as in the 72nd minute yet again Bravo pulls off another save he was really on fire in this game denying Sevilla a goal as Suarez plays it wide to Neymar Neymar's going to whip it across to find Lionel Messi and on the volley on his right foot what a goal it is for Messi he's going to pick up his second goal and as I did say before this game plays like Neymar Suarez Suarez, Messi haven't really started well as Neymar's actually going to pick up an assist there and Messi's going to pick up his second goal for uh, 
this game against Sevilla and in this episode, obviously, what a finish it was for Messi. Look at that camera angle on the replay. What a fantastic finish it was on his weak foot two, and he's going to make it 2-0, and that is how the game is going to end. After the 90 minutes, it's going to end Sevilla nil, Barcelona 2, as we do pick up two great goals there from Messi, really giving us the victory against Sevilla, and as I did say, we picked up a 5-2 win against Celta Vigo in the last episode in the league, and I really feel like that victory has really changed our form in the La Liga, going into games now, I'm feeling a bit more confident, and I'm obviously going to feel more confident if Messi is going to put on performances like that, a great 2-0 victory. And this is where I need your guys' help. In the comment section down below, as you guys can see, that I have two international offers, one from Chile, one from the Netherlands, and in my fi previous FIFA, FIFA 15 career mode, I had a lot of you guys letting me know, Shorty, do an international management. Don't just do club. Go out and try and manage an international team so right now in the comment section guys should i take the netherlands job should i take the chili job if you guys don't want me to take any of these teams let me know in the comment section just say wait for it wait for a country like in england or maybe even australia to come along and try and manage them or maybe even argentina or brazil let me know in the comment section should i take netherlands should i take chili or should i wait for a bigger country to come with an offer for me as player to watch against S I want to say Espanol we are coming up against in this game and Claudio Bravo he'll be starting goals as Fabinho as the right back a lot of players have been rested for example Munez gone out on the left as Lacazette he'll be strike he'll be playing in that striker position no we're actually coming out against Villarreal sorry about that guys not Espanyol Villarreal as they do have Soldado up front the former Spurs man has now gone to Villarreal they're starting really a 4-2-2-2 formation for this game as we did have the first highlight and it fell to us in the 21st minute a ball gets played to Lacazette he does well to get around one defender he's making his way onto goal Lacazette gets taken down down and the referee has pointed to the penalty spot in the 23rd minute we have a penalty kick to give us the one at nil advantage that's if we convert it but obviously if we do miss scores are going to main at nil nil and in the last episode we did have a few penalties and in the last episode Messi did actually miss a penalty so this is really Messi's chance to redeem himself get himself another goal in today's episode and he does so so that's Three goals in two games for Messi, and let's hope they can keep up this good form because we really do need him to keep up this good form if we really do want to win the league title this season. In the early stages of the second half in the 49th minute, we've got Lacazette who's going to take a finesse shot. He's going to hit the post, so really coming close to giving us the 2-0 lead and Lacazette chipping in with another goal. As in the 61st minute, ball gets played to Andres Iniesta. Does well to cut inside. It's Iniesta's going to play to Sergio Roberto. Takes a touch and Sergio Roberto with the shot. That was about 25, 30 yards out. And Sergio Roberto's shot is actually going to hit the post. It actually hit the outside of the post and coming very close to the young man. Sergio Roberto to make it 2-0 but the game is going to end in a 1-0 victory to us hey we didn't get that second goal but most importantly we're taking three points from that game Sergio Roberto what a what a goal it would have been if he did convert that one but sadly he did hit the post as Messi with another great performance let's hope that he can keep it up heading into the final game of today's episode it was a penalty but i really felt like even if we didn't get that penalty a goal was going to come as from that we're seventh in the table that is correct as real madrid are down in 10 so really the two main title contenders real madrid and barcelona haven't got off to the best of starts but as you guys have probably noticed from today's episode and the previous episode we are slowly slowly coming back to that top spot in the La Liga. You guys also did see that Atletico Madrid have got off to a great start for this season. If you guys have missed out on epi any episodes, I think it was back in episode number 5, we did face Atletico Madrid in the third game of the La Liga season. And sadly, we did lose right in the 90th minute from a spectacular goal from Javier Pastore, as this is a huge game to end off today's episode. It's only against Real Vallecano, but if we win this game, we could possibly jump up into the 
into into the top four. So this really is a game that we really do have to win. Ado Turan will be starting out on the left wing position. Murray Gertie, he'll be starting as a central attacking midfield for this game. As the Rayo Vallecano side, I don't really know too much about this side, but again, their side that's going with a 4-2-2-2 formation. Really a 4-4-2, but I like to call it the 4-2-2-2 because they're not really using wingers, using two CDMs and two central attacking midfielders. As in the seventh minute of this game, we've got the ball with our right back Fabinho. He plays a Murray Goethe, he plays really a hard ball to Adla Turan, somehow takes it down, controls it, Plays at a Lacazette, he's going to give us a 1 0 advantage. So after 8 minutes, the Frenchman Lacazette makes a Barcelona 1, Rayo Vallecano 0. We do take an early lead in this game. Let's hope that we can get a second and maybe even a third as Fabinho tries to clear the ball. It is actually one from one of the Rayo Vallecano players. He looks to play it inside as they do take a shot. It came off one of their attackers, then deflected off one of our centre backs. It was almost really a deflected goal, but luckily for us, fortunately for us, that one did go wide. It actually came off Mark Bartra's arm, so there was a little bit of an appeal of a handball, but really Bartra didn't really mean that. As in the 68th minute, we're going to win the ball here, as it is Murray Gertes. He plays it wide to Lionel Messi. He's got space in front of him. He's going to look to cut inside. Does well with a few step overs. Messi's going to look for an option. He's going to play to Murray Goethe. As Goethe takes the shot. And he almost picked up a goal for himself. Murray Goethe almost made it 2-0. But as I did say, almost. He did put that one wide. As that full time after the 90 minutes. It's going to have Barcelona 1. Rayo Vallecano 0. Not the most spectacular of wins. But we're still picking up three points in the league. We're actually going to end off today's episode taking a look at the league table. Picking up another three points, in my opinion, that is very, very nice as Lacazette picked up that early goal and that is what separated the sides at the end of the game. So as I did say, we're taking a look at the league table. We start off the season a bad, uh, not so well, but we've done well to sort of, you know, catch up to the other teams. We've caught up quite quick you guys can take a look at the league table as i did say we are currently sitting third we've played nine games we're one point behind real Sociedad, who are sitting in second as atletico madrid are on 20 points they are sitting first and they do have a game in hand real madrid are down in seventh but guys that is how we're going to wrap up today's episode if you did enjoy it make sure you go ahead and drop a like rating make sure you drop a comment down below that i could personally respond to also Click subscribe if you are new around here and I'll see you all on my next video.